This video is meant to be a companion for the do-it-yourself alignment that's already on the website. I'll have a link to that in the description. For tools, you want a steering wheel holder, a camber caster gauge, a small square like this, some fine fishing line or string, some painter's tape, and a protractor. You also need four jack stands and four clamps. You also need two six-foot long rods. In each rod, drill two holes that are 70 inches apart. The hole should be just big enough for your string to fit through, and it's very important you get the spacing between the holes exactly the same on each rod. Lay them next to each other on the floor, and by eye you shouldn't be able to see any difference between the hole spacing. Here's an example of how you're going to use the jack stands, clamps, and rods. I'll go into it more in the toe adjustment video. Inspect the steering and suspension ball joints and bushings. If you have anything like this, you need to fix it, otherwise alignment settings will never stay. You also want to go through and loosen, then snug up all the adjusting nuts and bolts. Confirm all the bushing positions are neutralized. I'll have a video for that in the description. Make sure all the tires are set to the correct air pressure. On four-wheel steering cars, make sure both these cam bolts are set in the 12 o'clock position. Then install the center lock tool, then check the steering wheel. If it's more than 6 degrees off center, remove the steering wheel, then put it back on as close to center as you can get it. After that, remove the lock tool. Drive forward slowly and hold the steering wheel exactly how you want it to sit when you're driving straight down the road. Bridge the steering wheel and column cover with some painter's tape and make some alignment marks with a sharpie. Finally, use a sharp razor to slice the tape. These marks will make confirming the steering is centered much easier during the alignment. Pull the car forward into the alignment space, then load up the driver's seat with weights that match your weight. The car should also include any other weight that's normally there, like tools in the trunk or a heavy sub. If you have adjustable height suspension, you need to set the ride height where you want it before you do the alignment. If you make any ride height changes, then afterwards you'll need to at least adjust the toe again. If any of this is unclear, remember to check the tutorial on the website. The next video will cover adjusting the caster and the camber.